Hey everyone and welcome back to the 1v1 series and our third match in the second round. We're going to be changing up the traditional 6 category scoring system a bit. I'm going to hone down the categories to 4. The new categories somewhat encompass the previous categories, but instead they attempt to mould to how you were responded and make me consider a broader degree of evidence for my stats. The first category is called Equipment. This category comprises a simple aspect of the characters, considering their clothing or armour, their weaponry or lack of, and finally their power. Simple. The second category is called Speed. This category looks at their agility, movement speed, attack speed, and proficiency with performing their power. The third category is called Efficiency. This category details the killer's ability to fight. It comprises looking at their core strength, their resistance capability, and their endurance. Finally, we have the category called History. This is where we look into the lore and identify the things or people that this killer has already previously faced, and make a judgement based off of that on how well they'd perform in a 1v1 as a result of prior skill or encounters. Each category is getting scored out of 10. This is for a total point score out of 40. Same as before, the higher number wins. Let me know what you think of these categories. I am happy to change them as we go through. With these scores and my own reasoning for each of the numbers, we will decide who I think would win in a 1v1 fight. I'm going to try and be as objective as possible and be without any bias. The goal of this series being a search for the strongest killer in the game. Today we are seeing who would win in a 1v1 fight. The Huntress or the Deathslinger. Okay, so our first category here is Equipment. Both Huntress and Deathslinger are both quite similar in their available equipment, with regular clothing that doesn't look all that protective for either of them. And then a ranged and a close quarters bladed weapon. Huntress wears mostly a range of different cloths, and Deathslinger comes equipped with, again, normal clothes, a coat, maybe leather, maybe slightly protective, but not too protective. Huntress comes equipped with both her primary and her larger weapon, her broadaxe, and then also her hatchets, which she can have up to 8 of at a time, I believe. Her hatchets are also her power. This means that there doesn't seem to be anything supernatural about her. It's just general bladed weaponry that she has. Deathslinger's power is simply his spear gun too, so neither character really has any supernatural element to them when it comes to their powers. However, in this way, they're also quite equal to one another when it comes to the equipment that they have. For Huntress, I'm giving her an 8, and for Deathslinger, I'm going to give him the same at 8. They're both very Similar when it comes to their loadouts and overall equipment, the more advanced rifle is evened out by Huntress's multiple options for her weaponry. Okay, so on to the speed category. Huntress has a base movement speed of 4.4 meters per second, which changes to 3.08 meters per second when she has a hatchet wound up. This is definitely something to take into account, as although she can be more accurate, she is far slower. It also takes her a little longer to use her range weapons. Her hatchets require her to fully wind it up for a few seconds to get max range, and even without her winding it up fully, it's not what I would describe as quick, at least compared to Deathslinger's attack speed with his spear gun. Deathslinger, unlike Huntress, can utilize his range weapon far quicker than her. He can simply aim in and then shoot, and although the chain can be a little slow at range, it can for sure fire faster. Potentially at a very long range however, Huntress could probably dodge this attack. Close to mid range though, I think she would definitely struggle to. Deathslinger's base speed is also 4.4 meters per second like Huntress, and his use of a weapon doesn't so much slow him, but it does restrict him as he has to ADS, which visibly blocks and hones his vision to a certain area. Huntress retains most of her visibility, and in turn her speed also, so really Huntress is better off between the two for using her weapon on the move, as she can actually move around easier, even if it is slightly slower than her base speed. When it comes to her power proficiency, we have a master hunter and an inventor using his own weaponry. Both are perfectly within their own territory and are both masters in these two areas, so again they're both getting a 7 for their overall speed. I think both aren't all that quick but face against one another and they even each other's strengths and weaknesses out quite evenly. Okay, so on to efficiency. I think for both of them, their resistance will be fairly low, due to their lightweight clothing and faster but longer range weapons for the most part. However, I think for the both of them, their endurance as well as strength should be relatively even. The only area where Huntress would have a slight advantage is in strength, I would say, due to the weapon she's using and their weight, and simply her physical size. 
If the two ever got close quarters, then Huntress would be at a clear advantage. Deathslinger does exemplify his strength still, however, as his spear gun is surely heavy, it's quite large and it contains a long chain, and at that he can pin people with it and reel in survivors as big as David. I'm not so sure he could fully reel the Huntress in, but he could certainly injure her with it. With this said, we know that in the lore, Huntress fights animals as big as her, or also bigger than her, stuff like bears, a bit like Trapper does. So I think Huntress definitely wins on the strength side, despite Deathslinger's strength being assisted by his rifle. Finally, their endurance honestly seems fairly even, both can repeatedly shoot, throw, whatever it is, they can do it quickly and efficiently. I'm giving the both of them an 8. Now, this is because although I think Huntress is stronger, I do believe that Deathslinger has a 1-up in that his strategy when fighting will be far clearer, so his lacking in brute strength is made up for in intelligence and strategy. Okay, and our final category of history. For history, let's start with Deathslinger. From the lore, some huge things we learn for Deathslinger is that he's kind of a master engineer. He makes his spear gun himself, and again, based on the lore, it seems to be both a very unique and also feared weapon. With this weapon in hand and the help of the gang that he led, the Deathslinger took down a ton of outlaws and criminals. The number isn't specific on how many he took down, but the way the law phrases it, it sounds like he took down quite a sizable number. Furthermore, he later breaks into a prison, which in itself is quite the feat, and then he proceeds to kill the warden. All in all, there isn't any direct one-on-one -on -one combat it seems, but basically every description that is done of him shows him to be physically and mentally dominating every opponent he faces. I honestly think Slinger's history gets him a 10. Now, Huntress. Huntress was raised as a child in the wilderness and had to provide for herself and survive for most of it. It says she very much became animalistic in her survival technique, becoming a dangerous predator within the woods. It's said in the lore that she takes down both wolves and bears, which is quite impressive. Whenever someone enters her territory, it's said she also kills them too. This isn't specified though if these people are armed or not, although it seems to suggest they are. To further this though, it's said she becomes somewhat of a legend amongst the nearby towns and villages due to the sheer amount she has pillaged, further going on to take down squadrons of soldiers during the war. 10. That's all I've got to say. They're both very impressive, also very horrendous when it comes to their histories I feel. So, this brings the final scores to 33 to Huntress and 33 to Deathslinger. They were matched all the way through. This is like a situation of the Apex Predator versus the Master Hunter. So, uh, um, oh, uh, okay. Didn't think about this possibility. Okay, so the winner, as it's a draw, will be decided by the description of the fight. The moon above Glenvale had turned a blood red, spewing its new light over the town. The entity's claws reached down hungrily above in the clouds, black and swirly like hurricanes. Huntress and Deathslinger stood on the main street, facing each other, their hands gripped on their weapons in a ferocious anticipation. The ground began to burn, as streaks of red broke through the dirt in the earth. The Deathslinger raised his rifle, firing it and scathing the Huntress's shin, the spear shooting close by her leg and burning it. He grabbed the crank and began to reel it back to him as a hatchet flew its way over crashing into a barrel behind him. The spear whipped back into the rifle's barrel. He ducked behind a cart as another hatchet was hurled his way. This time it smashed beside him, splintering into his shoulder. He groaned, turning and kneeling down, the spear firing out and catching the huntress's leg. She growled and screeched, swiveling another hatchet out and tossing it at him. The slinger had no choice but to drop his weapon, diving aside to avoid the hatchet. Huntress got up, tugging the spear from her leg, and placing two hands onto her broad axe. She began to run at him. He acted quickly, reaching for the rifle again, crouching down and raising the bayonet upward, ready to accept the blow. Her broad axe flew down, cracking down onto the rifle, battering away at the metal. She forced her weight down as the weapons interlocked. While she did this though, the Deathslinger had been reading the spear back as they struggled. He pushed her back and placed a finger onto the trigger. He fired. As he did, she released a hatchet. Both hit their target. The ground shook harder. The red burn from below had begun to nearly consume the whole floor. As they both assessed their injuries, a fog had now consumed the town entirely. Once it had finally cleared, sucked back up into the sky, the town was no longer there. Now stood great towering trees which created a thick canopy above. The red forest. Huntress began to hum. Deathslinger could barely react as a hatchet whizzed past his head, making his hat topple from it. He gripped the crank of his spear gun and began to turn it as he slid to take cover behind a tree. The humming stopped. He peered from where he had been hiding and tried to catch a glimpse of the Huntress. Nothing. Then, thwack. 
afar off sound, like an axe slamming into something. What was she doing? He stepped out of cover with caution, his eyes scanning the ground ahead for any footprints to follow. Nothing looked out of the ordinary. No disturbance aside the thwacking that continued. He reached the next tree, peeking round the corner. He could see her leg, the one he had mangled. He aligned the shot as the thwacking persisted, ready to fire, then crack, a tree came plummeting down, spiraling from the base and colliding with the one he was crouched behind. It split the tree immediately, splintering down onto him. He turned around, aligning the shot whilst he could, and the huntress aligning hers also. He fired, she threw. The tree collapsed down as the hatchet battered into his chest, his spear splintering through the wood and piercing her shoulder, yanking her to the floor. The log had crushed him, but she remained restrained, chained to him by the spear gun's chain. She crawled, getting onto her knees and gripping at the chain. He did the same, gripping it also. They began to tug at it, their strength matched by their injuries. He gripped the crank and began to reel her in. He needed to get her in range of the bayonet. She began to get dragged across the dirt. As she did, she brushed past the hatchet, the slinger's hat beside it. She grabbed it. As the bayonet was inches from her heart, she raised it before slamming it down onto his head. She was the apex predator in these woods. So, Huntress wins by deathmatch. This means she will be moving on to the next round and fighting in the third heat. Here's the updated round two table. All right, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed. Thanks and goodbye. An additional thank you to LHPL3 as well as my other members for supporting the channel.